Hi, I'm Bluey. And I'm Peppa. And today we're playing Play-Doh! Dad, what colours have we got? We've got green, yellow, orange, purple, blue, red, and we've also got white. Woohoo! Thanks, Dad! I'm starting with yellow, because yellow is my favourite colour. Three, two, one. Squash! Oh, it feels really squishy. And now I'm going to cut it into the shape of a beautiful butterfly. Ready? First, we roll it out with a rolling pin. And we roll it sideways. Now we get our butterfly shape. Now I'll just get rid of the extra Play-Doh around the edges of the cutter. And I like that. Now I take off the cutter. Ta-da! One yellow butterfly. I'm going to make a moon. Ready? Now we roll it. Roll it one way, other way. Maybe just flatten it out a tiny little bit more. Push to shape it. Take away the extra planter. Here we are, one blue moon. Now kids, while I'm making this orange seashell, just reminder to stay away from my shrink ray, okay? Okay. okay. What a beautiful orange seashell. Just to recap, the shrink ray is dangerous, stay away from it. Oh gee, Peppa, I don't know. Didn't Dad say not to play with the shrink way? We'll be fine. Push the button. Oh wow, it, it worked. What were you worried about? Let's play. Hey, Tiny Bluey, jump into this mud. Three, two, one. Geronimo! Yeah, I'm muddy now. Now it's my turn. I love mud! And I love playing mud the best of all. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to be amazed as I jump off his high diving platform into a swimming pool. Splash! It's a new world record for the play no high dive! So remind me, suspiciously small kids, what does this thing do again? Do you put the Play-Doh in the back and then squeeze it out the other side, right? Is that right? I, I, can, I can never remember. I'll try green. Okay, um, it goes in there, pretty sure. No manual. And, and now I'm going to squeeze them together. Okay, I, I'll, I'll just stuff it in a bit more. And then I'm going to give it a good old squeeze. Ugh. Ugh. That's kind of gross. Alright, is that as far as it goes? Yeah, well, okay, that's that. Behold, my finest creation. Dad, what is that supposed to be? I don't know. For some reason I thought it was going to make spaghetti strands. Well, it looks like a seat at the bus stop. I'm going to sit on it and see if a bus comes. Ah, so comfortable. Roar. Hey, what are you doing here, Tiggy? I'm not a tiger, I'm bus. Oh, okay. More bored. Hi, Bluey. Would you like to come to my tent? This orange platter is my bed, and this green platter is my lunch. You can have some lunch too if you like. Thank you, Peppa. That would be lovely. Um, Peppa? Yes? I think your tent is starting to collapse. Run away! Hmm, they left her lunch here. I knock you over. Bad tiger. <laughs> Dad, our tent fell over. Would you please make us a new one? Pretty please. Sure, kids. How hard can it be? Yay! All right, get it together, Daddy. You can do this. How hard can it be, right? You assembled that kids' trampoline, and that was that had parts A through to Z. All right, okay. I'm gonna start with a white bit on the top, and some sticks, the old chopsticks, and then it's oh, it's getting oh, it's getting complicated. Do you think he's going to be able to do it? Honestly, I don't know. Sometimes he seems really smart, but then yesterday I saw him walk into a wall for no reason. 
so he probably will do it, but I think we should just be nice to him in case it turns out scrappy. Which it probably will. Great job, Dad. Thank you. Yeah, it's coming along. It looks pretty good. Ta-da! One authentic vintage tent. I reckon I could sell these on Etsy. Okay, I've got one last piece of white Play-Doh, so I'm going to try to make some camping beds to go inside the tent. I'll roll it out first. Now I'm going to cut four square shapes with my square cutter. One, two, three, and four. Two Play-Doh camping beds. Behold the amazing new tent. It's got two beds. Louise is asleep on one of them. Don't wake her up. And that's our fire. And that's our dinner. And that's Tiggy. Good boy, Tiggy. All right, well, I'll go to sleep now. See you next time. <laughs> Hmm. Actually, should I knock the tent over? Yes, I think I will. Rawr!